Hello everybody, Sifter again with a continuation of our uh, Rogue Lords run. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's go over a quick recap here. Uh, my main character here is Bloody Mary today. We got this, um, this awesome Lunatic Strike, which is two times nine or from nine to 11. So that's uh, 18 to 22. Deplete the lowest AP skill. It most of the time is depleting this thing or this thing. It's the same. We don't really care. Even if it's this thing, we don't really care because we're only using this once and then we use the other disciples. And, uh, the reason we are having Bloody Mary as a carry is we got the Punishing Nail, which says that um, her recharge skill instead of it does not recharge the her skills. It only does the Cursed Mirror thing. But we apply the Cursed Mirror randomly in the beginning of the fight you to random enemies. So don't we don't even need to use this? To and uh, this has the upside of uh, making it so that we refresh two skills at the start of each fight. For free, so every turn we res we reset a lunatic strike for free, and whatever the lunatic streak disables, so that will also get refreshed for free. That's why we will be using lunatic strikes, a uh, lunatic strike every time once in combat, and it only costs one AP. So then we are able to use two other skills because most of the skills cost two AP most of the time. So that's the main plan. Then we got Dracula here, which is supporting her with her sharpening. This applies free sharpening to all disciples. Sharpening is a buff that gives plus two HP, uh, plus two damage on uh, HP damage skills. And um, it's uh, turn based, so it's not charge based. It's every turn it goes down by a tick. So that means that Bloody Mary for three turns is going to do four more damage. So that already propels everything out of proportions. Because what's happening is that this thing does then uh, 14 to 15 damage. And uh, not 14, yeah, 13 to 15. It doesn't matter. It does like insane amount of damage. And uh, the mirror doubles that. And this also happens twice. So all in all, she's doing about 50 damage per turn, which is pretty decent. And then we got the Herdless Horseman, which is not really doing anything. We got some bleed on him. We got the AoE explosion. And otherwise, he has his taunt. And I guess this is a big skill that he almost never uses. That's pretty much the build. So uh, yeah, as for passives, uh, only Bloody Mary has some. And uh, she has also really good stats over here. And uh, the last thing I just want to point out real quick is that we also got two relics. The one is that we gain souls. Uh, whenever we gain souls, we heal essence. And whenever we, we, uh, the more souls we have, the more damage the whole team has. So theoretically speaking, I would not like to waste anything soul related. Now, for the next fights, uh, I mean, we're not even going to go into these because as you can see, they have threats. You can see here double diabolic sense and more used and uh, this one too. So we're just straight up going to skip them. I'm going to go to this one, which will give us 60 souls when I arrive, which means we're going to go up to 80, which means we're going to have, we'll be doing two more damage, two more damage every single um, fight from here on out. So let's go there. Dobidi, 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 movie, 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 movie. And we have arrived. So now that's activated, we gain our 60 souls. And we got our 60 souls. And we get 4 Diabolic Essence because of that. And we now have plus 2 damage on everything. Let's go into this Elite fight. And let's hope it's not the Elite that actually forces us to do soul damage. Mm, nah, does not look like it. Bounty Hunter is the Elite and Hunt. Each time the Disciple uses a skill, it is locked for two turns. Each time the Disciple recharges, plus one damage to enemies. This is uh, pretty much countering us completely. Tortured Soul. Tortured. Each time the Holder suffers damage, he earns plus one damage. Okay, we're literally not even gonna care about that. I would say let's kill the Medium. So let's do the classic Sharpening. This has now a two time cooldown. I could do this 17 to 19, yeah. Uh, 17 to 19? I mean, this is gonna bring her down to death's door, but uh, the thing is, she's 17 to 19, is it? She takes six less, so it's 11 to... Yeah, it's not gonna bring her down to death's door, but it would if she didn't have the shield, so I'm literally gonna steal the shield out of her from her. Take le six less HP. Give me a second. Can I, can I steal this? I don't think that's that's literally his passive. Yeah, I cannot steal the passive. I can only steal this. Uh, now, if I do taunt with him, I'm not going to be able to finish her off. Because that's the plan. So... My, my plan is to use this on her with this stolen and then finish her off so we don't care about this 12th damage. He can do what he does and he can do what he does. Yeah, let's do that. So let's steal this. Give it to Dracula. Five, yeah, for five. Nice, now Dracula takes zero from this guy. 
Uh, now she can do her mega move. Pretty much assassinate. Bring her down to vulnerable. Yep, and he also takes 17 and 17. Very nice. And now Dracula does the deed. He did the deed. And uh, I would say we pass here, right? Where there is nothing else to do. Yeah, you do your soul damage and you also do your damage, which is zero and zero. Now her skill is in cooldown. I can actually uncool un down it by doing this. Is it? Is it that how we do this? Oh, I thought, okay, I can only refresh skills. Yeah, I can only refresh skills. I cannot uncool down them. Well, I'm not cheating enough. But it is what it is. Full damage and some kind of buff. Yeah, well, we attack the top guy. So I would say bleed and bleed. But you do 12 to everybody. Bleed and bleed and explosion. Or just bleed and explosion. Or just explosion. What does this guy do? Each time the holder suffers damage, uh, he earns plus one damage. Let's go with bleed and bleed then, you know. Let's go with bleed and bleed. This is charged based or turn based? Bleed is turn based. After using a skill, the holder suffers damage per... Oh, damage per damage application. Okay. Damage application. What? Suffer damage per damage application. Holder suffers damage per damage per... I... I... I I'm missing something here, but uh, it's okay. I guess we can refresh his skills. I mean, it's a useless thing, but what else would I do? Well, we charge. Oh, okay, bleed is real good. What did he do? He gave him... Oh, he gave himself provocation. Got it. Can she play? Yeah, she can play. It's gonna hit the bounty hunter too. She is still sharpened, so I don't even need to do anything. Bounty hunter is gonna go down to one life pretty much. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. Vulnerable, exactly. And now this guy can do an explosion. He's about to take 28. That's gonna take even more. 28. Uh, this is 7 times 4. Mm. It's gonna become plus 1 damage. It's gonna become 9 times 4. 9 times 4 is. Uh, actually, 3 times 4, which. Uh, 9 times 3, which is more important. It's 27, and he has 32 life. So he should uh, be able to tank the last hit too. Let's go with an explosion. Yep, 36. He is dying, but he is not hitting us. So that's the important part. As long as he's not hitting us, we are uh, good to go. Vulnerable. I have no problems with being vulnerable on him. I would say let's apply the mirror, which is really important. Uh, so that I can do more damage. And uh, I guess we go with bleed and lead. Or I guess we could go with bleed and stab. Oh, he doesn't have the stab. Hmm. Bleed and stab, sharpening, and steal life. I don't think the enemy is going to survive after this. So there's no reason to even care about this thing. I guess we can't use anything. If I use anything on her, it's going to refresh, right? Ah, but there's no reason to use anything. Let's pass. Shell? Oh, I was not expecting shell. Oh, that's not good. Is this a one day? Yeah, this is a one person attack. So you provocate. <laughs> nice. And uh, yeah, he's taking 18. Who cares? Uh, I guess you do this. Oh, she's not sharpened anymore. Sharpening time. Not really, though. I guess we do this. And this. And we pass. I can see if I'm gonna lose life and I'm not right now. Yes, he's super bleeding. Bleed is done. And now we go with sharpening the team. Yeah, he's buffing. Yeah, bro, you're not gonna survive. And, and. Oh, oh, 19. 19, 13. And then it would be like 15, 17. He was super dead. He was taking upwards of 60 damage. When an enemy dies, it applies weakness and controls to the other enemies. Weaknesses and controls. It applies its weaknesses. Okay, forget it. When acquired, all your disciples earn 20 max HP and SP. Your max diabolic essence is set to 30. Okay, so my allies become pretty much uber tanky, but I lose the ability to cheat as much. 
And uh, whenever you are about to suffer damage accepted, expected to deal the final blow to the devil, he becomes invulnerable until the start of the next turn. This you know what? I'm going to go with second life. Let's go with second life. Because uh, my old playthrough I lost because I made a miscalculation. Choose your combat tactics and wait. Double the number of souls to be one. Oh, I like that. And uh, you don't. Uh, the buff here is upon arrival, you receive 60 souls. I will say let's go with 60 souls straight up. And uh, whatever random thing appears, happens, happens. 60 souls straight up is uh, health and uh, also damage. Yeah, 60 souls is 60 souls, man. Boop, and for Diabolic Essence. Very nice. And it is an event. Yeah, event is decent. I like event. Spiritual points and occultism. She can beat most of the events, but the spiritual damage is completely useless on him. And uh, two life? Are you kidding me? And some joke numbers? Let's go with spiritual points here and two occultism. She is my event carry either way, so might as well make her even more one. As they enter the abandoned shack cemetery, your disciples notice something. Strange. A huge pile of corpses as they come closer to examine the mystery. The grave digger calls out to them. Hey yo, what are you doing, guys? If you're coming to drop off a body, walk right back out and put it in the common grave. With a damned white plague ravaging the countryside, I don't have any space for new residents. And the worst part is that all of these plague-infected bodies don't rot. Dang it. There has to be some dark magic at work in there somewhere. I'm sure of it. I'd give anything to get rid of these bodies. Are you sure? The Grey Diver isn't joking when he says the cemetery is full. There are more tom tom tombstones than there are trees in the forest. And the graves are so full that each one forms a small burial mound. The pile of corpses includes men and women. Women. Young and old. It seems that epidemic spares no one. They all are as pale as ghosts as if they have been drained of all their blood. That's why it's called the White Plague. Man. Everything is bad in this world. That's why the Lumen exists. The graveyard looks nervously at your disciples. Make a pact. Examine the corpse. Harvest the souls. I should I harvest souls for once? Should I go for a souls? More souls? Let's go with more souls. You know? Why not? Let's go with more souls. Ignore the great diver. You begin to appra appraise the spirits in the cemetery with so many corpses gathered around your disciples. It looks like an army. This white plague is a boon for your stock of souls. Finally. 40 souls. 40 souls and 6 essence, right? Yeah, 4 essence. Nice. Decent. I mean, we could have gotten something better out of it, but souls is good. Souls is good. Uh, now we, could go, we can go random or uh, event, force event. Let's go random. Maybe we find a fight or something. I mean, I'm not chasing down events. There's no real reason to try to chase down events. Let's see what we get here. We got a fight. That fight is easy for us. Silence. And uh, two skills or for the souls? I, right I would say two skills because it's two. If it was one skill, I wouldn't go for it. Although I see there is a... I think two skills is still better. Because uh, I can choose to literally uh, say skip get 20 souls and then again skip get 20 souls and that would be if i skip both of the skills i will get 40 souls so at least i have the choice it's literally better to go through this uh we go here i think oh she has ages now let's go with the classic sharpening maneuver by the way i could do this plus sharpening and plus this again yeah let's let's go with a big big move big boy move big boy maneuver If we're lucky, that is. We were lucky. Instant dead. First move, death. But the thing is that now I don't have my skills ready. Oh, I have. I have. No, I don't have them ready. Oh, she got the sharpening though. There is a chance that she will miss. Uh, is there any anybody really dangerous? I guess the zealot. I guess we can get rid of the priestess as fast as possible. Oh, I'm forced to do to go in order. Yeah. Well, let's go over here then first. Let's do. She still has sharpening. This should be a one shot. How much does she have? 19 to 20. This is a one shot. Look, look. This is four times happening, by the way. This happens four times. Bloody Mary, I killed your baby. <laughs> is the you got an achievement? Uh, what are you doing? Both attacking him. I mean, he takes 22 soul sorcery, whatever it is called. Uh, you know what? Let's reapply the mirror for the next turn. You're on the priestess. Pass. Yeah, 
Uh, something is happening on him, to him. Yeah, Bloody Mary, time to assassinate. I guess. Uh, do we have this ready? Not really. Let's go here. She's dead. Yeah, I would say let's go with recharge. Could recharge and then she can do this on him. Now let's go with mirror here. I will go mirror. He's not really doing anything. And uh, I guess let's recharge. Yes. Oh, it's a debuff. Even worse, my dude. Even worse. Are you kidding me? St slash locked? Yeah, uh, it's super over. We go with a 1 2 move of this. How much damage this does unbuffed? Sharpening. And that's 50 50 that it hits the skill I want. And uh, it got. It didn't get what I needed it to. Uh, it's okay though. This guy's just debuffing, so let's go with the attack. Pass. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! What is this? Sentencing. Upon expiration, inflict 50 HP. Same goes with this guy. Well, that's a crazy debuff. You realize that I can literally just do this, right? I don't like this situation. You you realize that I can literally make the enemy take 50 damage. I really, I really, 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 really like this. I really like the fact that there are some buffs that normal one normally would be a bit a, a, a bit dangerous. But because you can cheat, you can literally debuff the enemy with them. That's awesome. Will not spread by 3 max itself. HP, 3 max SP, suffer 3 to 6 HP. Oh, we go with this. No questions asked. No questions asked. We get a new upgraded skill. Let's not forget that whenever you do this combination, you get a new skill. With that, and let's go with will finally bleeding, my yoke. steal HP, recharge your skill. The depleted skill with the highest AP cost. Does this thing trigger twice? When I have a mirror, I could do slice and then fiance's kiss and then, then another slice. That would be four mana. Yeah, I think I think I want to try this. I mean, why not? Right? Apply five bleeding. This is a meme. No, oh, is it a meme? Wait a minute. Is this a meme? Because this should do like per damage application. After using a skill, the holder suffers five to eight per damage application. Per damage application. Does damage application mean that if he if the enemy at strikes us five times, then he takes bleed five times? I think that's the most logical. Let's go with recharge and see how exactly Simple we can combo this. Trinkets. This is a really strong skill on him. A use for them. Inflict SP, inflict uh, apply burn. What is burn? Each time the holder suffers damage, they also lose to SP. Ah, not really. The composition. Mm, if Dracula is vulnerable, the effect of the skills. Uh, Two times nine to eleven and three decomposition. Decomposition is strong. I would say let's go with souls powering up the team. Yeah, I don't souls really need anything other than Bloody Mary. Essence. Yeah, nice. We got essence because I got souls. So if I had gotten souls twice, I wouldn't gotten essence twice. Uh, it's the same, but I will try to go to the left event. Why? Why? <laughs> for, for some reason, I thought I had access to the left event. The road is true with the corpses of malefic creatures. This is not a good sign. You urge disciples to be on their guard. The curse will pay for that. On arrival, lose 50 souls. Ah, the shop that I'm not gonna go for. Very nice. Helix Let's go to a button shack. Ruse and plus one physical is decent. This 18 max health points. Chaos. Ooh, I like that. 18 max health points. This gives us one physical damage though. Mm, no, let's let's go with my master manipulator and stuff. Let's hope it's a stealth or a scare check. At least not the ruse check, man. At least not the ruse check. Oh, you, I, I should read what the events are saying. Ah, it will most likely be a ruse check. Your disciples follow the sound of someone cries for help and encounter a farmer block the road with his cart. He is encircled by furious sexual lumen inquisitor. Maybe it's a scare quest. Your tramp sporting alcohol farmer. You know that's contra contrary to the code of light. You deserve to be taken to the closest sanctuary. But we cannot forget about what it... Oh, that... But we cannot forget about that if you hand over your cargo. Oh, we can. Oh, we, they forget it. The farmer begs them to spare them him. But the Inquisitor insists. It seems that the altercation will drag on forever. You might be able to make something of it. I don't understand why alcohol banning happens in uh, every aspect faceted. I mean, wouldn't it make sense to have the populace uh, drunk so that you control them better? 
Ah, humans and their alcohol dependence. As long as they crave the sweet oblivion of drunkenness, exactly. The forces of evil will never be defeated. Ah, maybe because of that? Maybe because it's supposed to be bad to drink? I don't know. If the Inquisitor are so intent on breaking their vows by drinking the farmer's alcohol, Bloody Mary will be ecstatic to help them out. Yeah, we have 100% here without even doing anything. Convince the farmer? Attack? Help the Inquisitor terrorize the farmer? Yeah, let's go with this. It's free. Cool. <laughs> Success. Maybe we get uh, the horseman to react to it. Bloody Mary slips in quite behind the Inquisitor so that only the farmer can see her. This macabre apparition literally paralyzed the model with terror. The Inquisitor mocks him, convinced that they are the only cause for his distress and take what they want from his cart. They empty one bottle and then continue on their way, drunk to torment the next village. Screamers we got souls. And I'm well cousins because of that. And a reaction? The master was right to choose you for this mission. And another reaction to the reaction. This is why the master favored the disciples. Are you jealous? Two occultation, max health and max spiritual. Very nice. Temptation, rules and max spirit. Okay, nice. She's still becoming an event goddess. 18 health points. And uh, off we go to the shop. To the non-debuffed shop. We have six buffs. We have plus six damage on everything. Uh, an elite fight. Let's go to the shop first. An elite fight though. Ah, I know. The conductor of souls what are the choices? No explosion. Himself. I could go for two explosions to level it up. We we'll go for another one of those. What's this? Conclusion. Yeah, final move. Steal four to six HP and four to six SP. Uh, one max AP. The disable begin each combat in each new wave of attack with three depleted skills. Oh, I decide to who to give it to. The disciple begin each combat and each new wave of attacks with three skills. I guess I could give it to the horseman for one more HP. I'm not really using the horseman. When an enemy dies, it applies its weak. No. Uh, when the disciple inflicts physical damage, they earn plus four spiritual damage for the next turn. Bleeding and composition inflicts two more damage. When a disciple inflicts physical damage, they earn four spiritual damage for the turn. But wait a minute. The disciples begin each combat and each new wave of attack with three depleted skills. So that is going to make it, so I'm forced to instantly go refresh on uh, Dracula. So first move is going to be, first round is going to be refresh on Dracula, uh, Bloody Mary attack, Bloody Mary refresh attack, and Bloody Mary attack. Then the second turn is going to be Bloody Mary, I mean 6 AP is really good. When the disciple inflicts physical damage, they earn plus 4 spiritual damage for the turn, which I don't do. I don't do physical. Bleeding and decomposition inflict double damage. Mm. I mean, bleeding and decomposition is... double damage is good, but... I don't know. I'm not really ecstatic about any of these. Or maybe this one. Maybe this one, just because I have the Dracula refresh. I could do Dracula refresh 1, her 2, her 3, her 4, and then next turn... Dracula slice refresh refresh her one her two her three. I think I think that's a good let's, let's try this. We lost a lot of damage because of that. I don't want to buy anything else. Didn't find anything on her that I like. Actually, maybe this thing, but it's not gonna level up. I, I need it to be upgraded already. Otherwise oh, I can buy this instead and give it to him. And then it's gonna come back upgraded. Let's try that. Give it to her. Upgrade it. Take it away from her, so it's gonna come back upgraded next time. I lost a lot of damage, as I said, because of the souls I wasted. Yeah, now I only have one damage boost. I should have gone to the elite first. Yeah, but how would I know that the shop's not a good idea? I'm gonna get a relic from here. I'm terribly sorry. Okay, now we should always have 6 AP, right? Yeah, we always have 6 AP now. 238. 168. Okay, we have a DPS. We we are crazy good at DPSing enemies down, so we will have time to destroy them. Uh, let's go with. Wait a minute. Oh, she hasn't this uh, used out, used up. When he also doesn't also doesn't have this used up, so I can definitely do do my combo here, which would be one, two, three, right? Complete the skill with the highest AP cost. I guess. So let's do this for sure. You do this. Uh, I'm forced to attack Sister Polaris. Although the other one has the mirror. That's really not good, by the way. I would like to burst down one of them. And uh, 
This is everything bloodthirsty. Mm, yeah, I mean, I can refresh here. I could just do this. Nice. She refreshes the skill. So now when I pass... Actually, right now, it's two out of three to hit the right skill. But actually, this is refreshed, so we're good to go. Next turn, I can just press this and maybe this again if it's ready. So, uh, I guess we take some damage. Nice. Nice. Uh, what are we debuffed from? Polarize HP. Doubles the amount of spiritual damage suffered. suffered. Okay, happens. Sharpening and this guy has exhaustion. Reduced by half all the damage inflicted. Okay, I'm about to take 16 on him, which is 32, which I don't care about. Uh, I would say let's go with this, which should disable one of these two, and then with this, and then with this again. And then maybe super refresh with the uh, vampire. Let's go... Can I use it on whoever? No, not really. Only on Sister Polaris. Good Bob. Nice. Now we go with this. Should refresh this one? Yep. Now with this again. Man, she's insane. She is insane. And uh, 11 to 21. This could even kill. But I would say let's go with refresh because she has she has three skills used. Yeah, let's go with refresh here. And then next turn we can do the full combo. Sharpening might also run out. I pass. She's gonna do her debuff. She's gonna do her damage. Oh no, she healed. Yep. Now we go with... We have still one sharpening. We go here. She's dead. I guess we go here. But she gets hit. And let's go here. Come on. Done. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bloody Mary is broken, man. I don't even need to do anything. The 6 AP was definitely a good decision. Because nothing really changes for me. And I acquired 20 max Diabolic Essence. Mm, decent, but no. Each time a disciple passes social test, they earn plus one physical damage. Whoa, 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 we go here. Is there any more social tests to be done? I mean, there are two here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go permanent physical damage on uh, my carry. Book chapter. Off we go to the book chapter. Sanctuary Lumen. Story time. My disciples arrive at the sanctuary. There they discover a priest who no longer preaches. Oh no. He tells them that he took part in the creation of a monster who then returned to dispossess him of his inspiration. Oh, you created him. Caleb. Oh. We offer him a chance to take his revenge on his creature. And he accepts it. He accepts. Very nice. My disciples, on the pretext of making a trap, take one of his hairs and ask for a fragment of Caleb. Okay. He gives them a bit of the wood used in his making. Caleb's a machine. The two elements of the ritual secure inside the puppet. My disciples and the priest go their separate ways. Ah, okay. The latter leaves for the town of New Florentine to find Caleb. And my nice. servants set off for an abandoned Why? farm. Why? Why are we going for the abandoned farm, though? Maybe to do the deed? To do the... The nightmare is nice. only beginning. Uh, you discover a trade for one of your disciples? On the sacrifice. I would like to go to the shop though. Upon arrival on the zone, you discover a trait. Nice. Upon arrival on the zone, you discover nice, 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 nice. Very nice. Uh I have to go uh, I will go to the fight because I'm blasting through the fights really easily with her. I don't want to go to sticks. I don't really need the Be on your guard, disciples. Even you are not impervious to the snares of this swamp. Uh, okay. Does that mean there's a debuff here? Two skills. Eighty-five souls. I would say 85 souls, man. Terror? Terror is about to level up if I go for it. I mean, if I get the terror, I will get a relic for free. Uh, 85 souls is too much to pass out. To pass off, yeah. 85 souls is very uh, a lot of money. Uh, in my opinion. In my opinion. Mercenary? Ah, <laughs> that's a joke fight. This is a joke fight. Yeah, this is gonna be very easy. Oh, she got her good skills. She got her good skills. That means we go Bobby Boobity again. And then we go Kaboom. Ah, very nice. And then I would say, oh, 
the wrong skill refreshed. I did not know that was even possible. Um, uh, I really didn't know that that was even possible. Does he have a stab? No. I guess we go for a reset? I mean, isn't that the most logical thing to do? 6 to 9, 10 to 15 twice. Even if I hit it 15, nothing is going to happen. Yeah, um, I don't know why I'm thinking about this. Let's just go for reset here. And uh, let's go for a kill. I don't know. I don't know why I was thinking about it. New wave. Now we lose all our skills. Let's hope Bloody Mary got back something useful. Yeah, Bloody Mary got her super move back. Does he have the slice? Not really. So she will do her super move. Uh, nobody has a mirror though, and that's really bad. She's forced to attack the diva. Let's go with a mirror first. On the captain heals 50 to 51. Each time the holder heals a command, two damage to all enemies. Are these the enemies or are we the enemies of him? I don't know. This guy's about to do insane amounts of damage. Captain is just a healer. Let's go for mercenary hit here. Let's go for a slice on the diva. I'm gonna attack them both at the same time. Maybe I should just go for the diva kill right away. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Leader for the pack. That was definitely a mistake. Diva's not gonna go down. None of them is gonna go down. Should have should have cheated. I'm not losing any real life here, so let's go. All my skills are ready, so from the next time... Yeah, they get the damage boost, it seems. What is this? Ignore provocation stealth. Oh, it's, it's random buffs. Is this stealth? Uh-oh. Immortal power. What is this? Dexterity, ignores provocation stealth, provocation. Spirit split transforms the HP losses suffered in, and inflicted into SP. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. He's just healing. Okay, I think the time has come for the full-on assassination time. So we go here. Okay, now I would say let's go with the sharpening. Wait. I don't want to go sharpening. I want to go this and the first move again. Nice. Why do... Recharge the depleted skill with the high DP cost. Why did both of them get recharged? I don't understand. Uh, 17 to 19, 12 to 14. Oh, that's not gonna be a kill. Uh, I can kill somebody else. He's at one. Okay. This is a one energy move. Get rid of her. 14 to 2. Uh, he's... Uh, yeah, he's taking lethal damage on life, not on spirit. So we go with the kill on this. Do we have an AoE here? Three, two... No, not really. Oh, she can do the deed. Yeah, it's gonna bring him to death's door too. Yeah. Nice. And uh, he can do a spirit damage to him. I don't really care. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Are you gonna heal again? No, that's not good. Is that AoE? Oh, it's only on the horseman. 19 times 2, what the f- Ah. <sighs> uh... She has a good skill, that's decent. I would say sharpening first, and her good skill. Go sharpening first. Should I? Sharpening first. This is 19 to 1, right? Twice. 19 to 1 twice. We, we can handle that. Let's go with a kill on him, if possible. Whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. Vulnerable. Nice. One more strike and he's toast. We don't have AoE, really. We have the one strike kill here. And then with one energy, what am I going to do? Reduce this guy damage, I guess. Let's go with a strike here. Wait, why... Oh, he does no damage? What What's happening? Transform... No, he's debuff... No... No, 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 no... No, 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 no,
Okay, time to cheat, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. Let's get down to business. Yeah, free for this. You get a kill. Wait, is this gonna pass my turn instantly? I don't think it is. Okay, we got a kill here. Now only this guy is dying. So we will go... What is he taking? 38 Vitality Life. Okay, I would say... Let's, uh, let's go here. He's He needs to... Yeah, I think this is the safest approach. Yeah, nice. Good turn. I lost some life, but I didn't lose 50,000 life. Yeah, healing 50. Really nice. Let's go with the mirror. Let's go with a uh, reset. I guess let's go with this. Yeah, and uh, might as well do this. And pass. He's not doing anything. She's not doing anything. And now Bloody Mary is gonna win here. Bop, bop. Dead. Nice. Enemies became a lot stronger, man. This was not an elite fight, right? It wasn't a lead fight than super, but I don't remember it being a lead fight. With Diabolic Essence, more power to us. Off to the shop that gives us what? Uh, a trait. Or a trait. Yeah, we go to the trait. Disciples observe numerous food. As they approach, they can sense that the force of good have been preparing. So no we get a negative one. 50 or... Um, Negative trait. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid those pretty much. I'm already on the path of avoiding them either way, so I don't care. Off we go. Helix. Arrival in the zone, get a free trait. Temptation and max health. Max health is decent. This Temptation, a bit useless. Chaos. A bit useless. Immortals. Let's go. Nice. Trinket. Take it. Wait it. And now I get another wicked skill, right? Isn't that how this works? I am yes, it is. <sighs> Take them. This is the one I already have. Oh, I love it. Mm, flicked 8 to 14 for 0, though. Vampirism and haste. Automatically recharge the skills used. Each time the holder inflicts physical damage. So for 1 energy... You get 3 Vampirism to heal when I attack, and also the next skill is not gonna get depleted. So I could use my Mega Skill twice. I mean, I'm gonna go for the Mega Mega Skill. I don't know what I'm really thinking about here. Maybe the Zero... This is Bloodthirsty too. Let's go for the Mega Mega Skill, man. Is it here? The conductor of souls what do we got? The Folder earns, earns X Mage H X Max wait. HP at the beginning of each chapter. Too late for that. Each time the Holder receives healing, all the sevens gain 1 physical damage. That's nah. Each time Mary plays four skills in a single turn, she applies one superpower to other disciples to deal double damage. Not really. Another one of the mega skills I'm using. Uh, does she have a slot? She has a slot. I would say that's by the mega skill she's using. I'm calling it mega skill, but it's 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 just a normal skill, you know. And uh, I think I should stop here. Is there a shop on the road? Not really. Oh man. Oh man, there is even more? How many chapters are there? Okay, I'm most likely gonna end this here. I didn't know this was so huge. Um, inflict damage. No, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose more damage if I do this. Spiritual damage, one AP bonus, some stabs, forty nine. Explosion forty nine. Man, all these things they are too expensive. I'm losing damage. I'm losing power. And even the purchase I did there lost lost me some power. Uh, do I want a chapter? Oh, I would say let's go to a chapter for plus one physical damage on um, on Bloody Mary. Because let's not forget that I have that thing that says... Wait, did do I have that? Yeah, each time it's able to pass a social test, they earn plus one physical damage. And uh, an elite combat. Let's go social test. Max health and max spirit. Plus two on the stats. Ooh, this is so much better. No, I go all in Mary. Plus one damage on Mary, man. And plus eight and plus eight life. Plus eight life, plus eight spirit. Prophet on a small stage in the muddy farm is predicting the end of the world to all who will listen. Unfortunately, the humans are mocking him and calling him a madman. 
the, that might change if you made some of his disciple predictions come true. Storms of fire, plagues, careless flooding, the prophet foresees all of these catastrophes. You don't even have to invent anything new. The humans take it up quite well on their own. You're almost jealous of their imagination. Hey, prophet. You could use your powers to bring about some of these catastrophes that would seem very apocalyptic. Or you could give Bloody Mary the agreeable task of wrecking her own style of havoc. Stir up a morbidly curious curiosity of the crowd. Make the prophet's prediction come true. Let's go with this. Let's go with the freebun. Bloody Mary manipulates the minds of passerby so that they be receiving repetitive receptive to the prophet's voice, mesmerizing by his words. The humans flock to the stage to hear his predictions. Let's hope maybe Dracula comes in. He convinces many of his listeners that they're doomed and that you, the devil, will soon destroy the world. The wave of panic that ensures is worthy of the prophet's vision. Oh, yeah, nice. We got we got that. At QAP during combats. Oh yes. Upon arrival, no, yes, 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 yes. Look at this reaction. Nice level three here. We get a relic for this, and from here on out, yeah, no, from here on out, half my skills are gonna be wicked. Yes, Dracula, exactly like I said. You have to be desperate, mortal, to be seduced by such a draw flattery. Oh, she also got a reaction. Very nice. Two stealth and max health. What? No, damn you, Dracula. No, but I thought you would like that. You hold over the world. Uh, you will move. Yeah, I'm up to terror. You have one HP each time you lose a diabolic essence. You earn one AP bonus. Perfect. Each time you kill one enemy, you earn six souls at the end of combat. Yes. Earn your interior effect. You also. No. You go here. Kill one enemy, six souls. Kill one enemy, you earn six souls. Yeah. I mean, this is straight up better than this, right? I mean. Yeah, we'll go for this. And uh, let's go to the elite. We do enough damage, I think, to be able to pass elite. I know that there is an elite that needs me to damage his spirit. That's the whole fight. Avenger is took the mirror. 72 on the exorcist. Metal bar reduces his speed suffered. Who cares? Or cry. And she's a healer. Um, why is everybody attacking that guy? I think I want to go with a taunt. This time. Or should I go all in damage, damage, damage? Oh, three skills on each disciple. Oh, she refreshes herself right away. Nice. I would say let's go with the ultimate attack move. Does he have the... No, he does not. Let's go with the ultimate attack move. Let the enemies attack for the first turn. I'm forced to attack. Am I not forced to attack? Oh, here it is. <laughs> I'm forced to attack her. He takes 15 less. Why does he take 15 less? Why does he just take 15 less? The effects of the skills will be preparing to inflict penalty. Oh, minus 15 damage suffered by the Avenger. When removed, apply black hatred. When removed, apply black hatred. Remain turns three. Oh, this uh this last three turns. So my mirror is really badly placed. You know what? Let's replace the mirror and then we can start damaging. Let's maybe get rid of the exorcist right away. Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea to spread the damage. So let's do this. Let's go here. Let's not lose this one. It's okay. Even if I lose this, I still have more of those. Oh, she's dead. Uh, I guess I want to do the deed with... Nope. Mm, nope. I can do this with this one. Is that? Does that even make sense? I can do this with this and then I can use this. Yeah, let's go that like that. Up to dead. I can use this over here. I got six souls. Over here. Ah, ha, ha. Whoop, whoop. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> Enemy dies. Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, you do your thing. You do your thing. The classic buff, debuff, whatever. Migraine, I don't care. Uh, healing and buff. Very nice. Very nice. Enemies pretty much do nothing. Uh, let's go here. For the double damage. Now, let's go here for the refresh first. Maybe it refreshes this instead of that one. Uh, this, I mean, instead of that. Whatever it refreshes, the same thing. Yeah, we go here. She's super dead. Actually, she's dead with this one, too. Yeah, she's dead with this one, too. So let's see if this is going to get removed. I want to see what loses the refresh. Okay, I lost this one. 
And I guess there's no reason to damage him at this point, so... Uh, yeah, there's no reason to make a place any of my skill into cooldown. She debuffed her physical spirit damage, who cares? Can you lose your stupid thing? He's still debuffing. I guess we can go for a refresh on everybody. And I can go mark him. I would slay for now, let's pass. Yeah, clumsiness, who cares? She also has less damage done. Less physical, less than normal. And uh, yeah, is your debuff done? Six damage to black heart hatred. Six damage to enemy. Eight plus six damage to enemies. Yeah, and the minus eight damage suffer for the weakest enemy. Okay, he's insane damage there. Uh, should I do minus six? Yeah, let's go with this. Safety first. Yeah, yeah, let's go, boy. You do nothing. Uh, I would say let's do this. Is this? Three damage, yeah. Four damage, actually. Let's do this. Oh, whoop, whoop. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. <laughs> whoop, whoop. 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Yeah, you try to shoot. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. You're gonna do what? Debuff? Yeah, I don't think so, mate. Ah, da, 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 da. Whoop, whoop. And he's almost <laughs> bloody Mary is insane. <laughs> insane power level. 18 souls for the kills. Four diabolic essence because of that. One max HP, double double suffer. Ooh, seven max HP. The disciples can only charge during even numbered turns. I don't care about this. Disciples can only recharge during even numbered turns. Hmm. So the first turn I cannot recharge at all. For each negative trade you purge, you discover two skills. Uh, am I even gonna purge? I mean, I could purge here, but do I want to go for the purge? I would say this. <clears throat> Double damage taken by Dracula, but one more HP. One more AP. It's a long way. Although if the enemies are going to do like 20... If, if the enemies do, I guess, 20 damage on him, he's almost instantly gonna drop. But, uh... Double damage suffered. Man, this double damage suffered is super dangerous. I have Bloody Mary to reduce damage, but this is super dangerous. Uh, the disciples only charge even number turns. I mean, first turn, I can only use, for example, a Bloody Mary. And then on the second turn, I can try to recharge and do stuff like that. This is also a bit too dangerous. Although with 7 AP, I can also use um, the Horseman a bit more, I guess. Did I go for money? Which negative trade you purge? Discover two skills. I mean, I'm not gonna purge any negative debuffs. I'm not gonna go to the stinks. I'm most likely gonna go with Enter Fight. Uh, let's get the money. Fight. Money is essence, and money is also damage. Uh, I would say. Let's go to random, as I'm definitely gonna go for the left elite. And the random can be whatever. I know that I have a cheat mechanism that I can switch around where I want to fight. Random is an elite. And also, let's go here. Physical damage. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're building her up to be the destruction incarnate. Your disciples discover an isolated defenseless farm. It's the perfect target. Sadly, it looks like it's been abandoned for some time. Traces of demonic magic can still be felt in the air, indicating that you fought a battle here during the Great Hunt. There might be some interesting spoils lying around. Souls? Here and there, you seek the skeletons of humans that succumbed to the demonic hordes. It's impossible to determine who won the battle. But that doesn't matter anymore. Today, it's sinister and abandoned terrain, as certainly as if you had won the war. Time has always been your ally against the mortals, of course, because we are immortal. This gloomy atmosphere seems to suit Bloody Mary. Absorb the magical residue. I'm not even gonna risk it. Like, not I even... Yeah, I'm not gonna risk it whatsoever. I want the plus one damage on success. <clears throat> Bloody Mary concentrates on recovering the demonic magic. This place exudes, exudes, and new power flows into her. A power that will make you enemies tremble. Three ruse and ten max spiritual points. And reaction positive. Makes magic me want to dance. Magic makes me want to dance. Positive reaction on Hidden Sourceman, very nice. Spells are extremely volatile weapons, but you did yourself proud. Ruse, physical damage, yes. Max spirit points, yes. Wait a minute. 
It was a trade. We got a trade from this. One occultism, six health points. I just realized, and now I'm gonna get the trade that I normally would have gotten. Yeah. What was the trade we got normally? Can I see? Is this on with on, in order? On physical? Yeah, this thing. We got 10 max spiritual points for that. Wow, look at this. She's a super carry. She shots with eight physical damage. Um, What is this? Oh, it's the quest. I have a quote-unquote quest here. Go to the secluded carry here. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Let's uh, let's go to the elite fight, which we should blast through. Oh, this is super easy. Yeah, the mirror got placed in the, the right one. Very nice. Which skills do I not have? I have my good ones. So, 12 times 6. I can make her useless if I want to. Do I want to? I mean, I have enough skills to use here. I can do one and then two. This is going to disable this. Okay, one and then two and then three and then hopefully four or four. Wait, doesn't that mean I should start with this? Because this is going to reset this one. Doesn't that? Yeah, this is going to reset either this or this. Yeah, let's go this. It should reset this and then I can do this and then I can do this. And one of those two are, is going to be ready and then I can do whatever is ready at that point. So we start with this one. Wait, do I have mana? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I have enough. Oh, reset this. Nice. Now you go here. Make her not do anything. Nice, we're not taking a thousand million damage. And we go here. Bop, bop. I get hit again. And now we go here. Bop, bop. You're vulnerable and you're dead. Quack with fear, mortals, is an achievement I got. And uh, I have one more energy, which is pretty much useless. <laughs> As, uh, yeah, I have my skills in cooldown and this thing is not usable. Oh no, polarized HP. Doubles the amount of spiritual damage suffered. And she's buffing herself. Oh no, she's buffing herself. Okay, let's go with Lunatic Strike. Oh, I forgot to mirror. Well, that was a mistake. Let's go with Refresh, everybody. And now you might as well do this again. Bob, Bob, we're gonna reset something here. I mean, she's resetting two turns, every two, two skills every turn. And this should be the end. Oh, I got hit. I got hit a bunch of times. How much life do you have, my dude? You have a lot, right? And 19. I don't think she's gonna do enough. How much does Thorns do? Let's do two to four. Yeah, she's dead. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Bop, bop. Thorns, who cares? Let's go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And we got souls from that. And from souls, we get Diabolic Essence. 12 souls and Essence. And souls, now we have one more damage. Each time you earn Terror Effect, you also receive 20 souls. And the Diabolic Essence. When a Disciple inflicts spiritual damage, they earn plus four physical damage for that turn. And Burn and Depression inflicts... Not really. I'm not really doing... Any uh, spiritual damage. Uh, when I cry, 20 Diabolic Essence is very nice. Uh, terror Effect. Each time you earn a Terror Effect. So I could choose Terror Effects for the fights, but... No, I mean, look at this. These fights are Elites, Elites. Elites don't trigger Terror Effects. Let's go with just straight up 20 Diabolic Essence. It's useful, you know. It's something useful. Let's go to this Joke Elite fight. It's a joke elite fight because uh, I'm, I'm randomly Trouble. saying that. Laborers of the soil. Well, we go first for the this. Spiritual damage is useless. But uh, yeah, she's like my uber carry. Look at this. 100% on the ruses, 100% on the stealths, almost 100% on the scares. Occultism, maybe not. Temptation, almost 100%. Let's go here. She's also going to get plus one physical. Let's not forget that. Man, we're gonna be an hour late. Your disciples point out a charlatan stand. They think they sense a real relic mixed in among the useless bauble. A horde of mortals is attracted to the stall like bees to honey. You can't be sure if the traces of magic in the air are fascinating them. Or if they're really stupid enough to believe the lies like this charlatan is feeding them. Charlatan, talk to me. Bloody Mary eyes the charlatan. Trinkets within interest. And it's the worst one we have. Seize is worse. Chris is worse. Identify the nature of his words. Let's go with identification first. I shall reforge the world in my image. Should I? Identify the nature of his words. Says his words. Yeah, well, whatever. My imagination. Success. 
Ah, maybe we find something good. That's uh, the idea here. It takes Bloody Mary a while to look at the relic. It possesses so little magical power that it might as well not be an old trinket if it it's of no interest to you. Positive reaction, right? Magic makes me want to dance. Three stealth, five max health, five spiritual points. Yeah, decent. Bloody Mary eyes a chant on trinkets with interest. Examine is worse. Again? No. Sis is worse. Curse is worse. Let's go with curse. Seize? Yeah, let's go with curse. Bloody Mary puts a curse on the charlatan stall, impre impregnating all these charms with bad luck. That should be enough to cause some unexpected ah, behavior. Nice, we got some terror. terror. Yeah, whenever I do something extremely negative, Such it's always terror boost. To my I like this. Plus two relics on the right one. Plus max essence. Upon arrival on this one, you discover a trade for one of your disciples. Mm, trade's also nice. I think I'm gonna try to go with a double relic. Scare spiritual damage and also one physical damage. Let's not forget that. Okay, so in this elite, I should actually have plus two AP. Yeah, which is gonna be insane here. <laughs> By the way, I actually did discover terror, so I wouldn't have gotten 20 spirit. Plus three damage on everybody. What's this? Each time a disciple uses skill, it's locked for two turns. Each time a disciple recharges, plus one damage to enemies. Ooh, okay, this is not good for us. At least it's only one fight. Uh, plus two AP. Um, I would say, what is this? 24 to 27. She's insane, man. She's insane. Where's the mirror? Is the mirror on him? Oh, this is the worst mirror. Each time the holder suffers damage, he earns plus one damage. Yeah, this is like by far the worst mirror. Um, let's play the mirror on the bounty hunter. I don't care. Let's go here. La 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 la. Bo -bo. Almost dead. Now I would say let's go here to make it so that this this resets or this re actually this is going to reset. Which is useless. So we go here. It's a kill, right? It's a kill. She's dead. Bounty Hunter's dying. I guess use this for 25 to 31 on him, which should bring him to death's door. Yeah. And now you can bleed him, or you can stab him. Or you can bleed him. It's the same. Might as well go for the stab. I'm gonna go for the reset regardless. And pass. This guy's doing nothing. I told you this was gonna be a joke elite fight. I told you so. Because we have 8 AP. And because we're already broken either way, so we will go here. Oh, you do nothing. I cannot use the mirror. Well, let's go for damage then. Oh, you can do your bleed. It doesn't matter that I'm boosting the enemy. He's doing three times four. It's not It's not enough to even do a dent on us. Plus one damage. Here, protect everybody. You took zero on zero. Pass. Very nice, and now I play, and now I destroy you, mirror, damage, and death. Wolf, wolf 26, vulnerable instantly, and dead. Bloody Mary is broken, Bloody Mary is broken. <laughs> Music. 18 souls for the 3 kills, for the Ibelic Essence for the 80 souls. The Shadows aim plus 2 and all the social characteristics. Yes, for each combiner, the first 2 recharges cost 0 AP. Yes! Re regenerate 15 extra Ibelic Essence. No, let's go for this. The first 2 recharges cost 0 AP. Man, f 2 free mirrors for Bloody Mary. 2 free resets for, uh, for Dracula. Yes! That's the most insane relic we could have gotten. And we're gonna go into the story and then we're gonna end this there. Uh, wait, I wanna see. Oh, there is even more. Here's the end. So tomorrow we will end this. Today we go in. I like that Country we're becoming overpowered, by the way. The soil. I really and like the fact I that we're gaining extremely powerful builds. Find the abandoned farm. There, using their own blood, they draw a network of symbols on the floor. When they have finished, they honor my name and recite the words of incantation. Or calcum. The pups suddenly burst into Actually, flames. It's not a normal to calcum. A tongue of brown flame rising from the small wooden body without damaging a thing. Brown flame? What magic? In the distance, a cry rings out. Oh no, Caleb is dying. close to making Caleb slightly more human, slightly more mortal. 
My disciples need Leave to meet up with the priest in the town of New Florentine. Okay, so we go off to the town of New Florentine and then we go and destroy Caleb, I guess. So that's the plan I for tomorrow. Nano terror. I An essence on the left right. Ten essence on the shop. And uh, after sacrificing a skill, you discover another higher rarity than the one sacrificed. Sacrifice altar. Maybe I should go to the sacrifice altar with Bloody Mary. Anyway, tomorrow we will see what we will do with that. Almost hit. The, almost was faster than the hour mark, but I didn't do it. I was a bit slower. Either way, that's going to be it for today. So if you guys like the run, maybe drop a like helping out the channel. And if you want to tell me anything, just comment down below. I'm reading everything and anything. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm super excited about this game. I, I really like the build. I really like the fact that we're super overpowered right now. Maybe it's not real. Maybe I think we're overpowered and that's like a normal thing that happens in this game. But I feel extremely powerful right now. So hopefully tomorrow we are beating this campaign. And even more, hopefully, I hope we... <laughs> hopefully, I hope, hopefully. <laughs> I hope we will... Uh, okay, Devil, you don't need to speak all the time. Yes, yes. Uh, I hope tomorrow we actually unlock a new character, man. I want to see a new character in this game. I mean, this is the full game. It's not the demo anymore. So new characters might be even more awesome. And also maybe the next chapter too. Either way, that is going to be it for today. So thanks for watching, everybody. And see you guys around.